Five reasons I'm voting no on the Minnesota Marriage Amendment. Number one, love. I love my wife. I love being married. And I have many gay friends that I love. So why would I not want another couple to enjoy the happiness and security that I feel being married to Pam? Tell you what, if you don't love your spouse, if you don't love being married, if you don't love any gay people, then you too should vote no. Why? Because maybe, if you're lucky, those gay people you don't like will get married. And one day they may be as miserable as you are in your marriage. <laughs> That'd teach them. Second reason I'm voting no on the marriage amendment, the children. Kids need loving adults in their lives. You have to really love them to go through what gay people often do to have or adopt them. You know, there's not a lot of lesbian Bristol Palins out there. I mean, a gay couple would have to get pretty drunk to have an oops baby. Besides, it's already legal for gays, singly, or as a couple to adopt. So if you really care about the well-being of kids, wouldn't you rather their parents weren't living in sin? Do it for the children. Third reason I'm voting no, definitions. When I was young, this marriage was illegal in many states. In fact, and this is not a joke, the last state to officially legalize interracial marriage was Alabama in the year 2000. I'm not kidding. So spare me the whole definition of marriage talk. I think we have a little wiggle room here. And speaking of definitions, I'll call my fourth reason for voting no, civility. Some have argued the whole separate but equal thing. Straights get marriage, gays get civil unions. The, the suggestion here is that marriage is a religious thing and the Almighty wouldn't abide two people who can't make babies getting married and doing kinky things that don't result in the making of babies. Well, newsflash, not everyone, including my wife and me, gets married to have kids. We got married because we love each other and wanted to make a very public and lifelong commitment to each other. Plus, we were married by a judge and not in a church. So, based on that info and based on some of the things we do that don't result in a fertilized egg, I guess we haven't really earned our marriage license. We're just a couple of godless sodomites. And the final reason I'm voting no on the marriage amendment, history. I'm older now, and I have to start thinking about how I'll be remembered. And I sure as heck don't want to be the Strom Thurmond of gay marriage. I mean, there comes a point where being a bigot is not all that sexy anymore, you know? And the older you get, the more unseemly it looks. So years from now, when our friends' kids or grandkids are off getting gay married, we can say, oh yeah, I was into gay marriage before it was even cool. And that's why I'm voting no, and I hope you will too.